And welcome to a special episode of Our Reviews Will Kill You, the outrageous podcast that brings you laughs, life, and uh, review of movies, intellectual properties. But today's episode, since we're getting ready for the holiday spirit and we want to share this with you, and we know you just came off Thanksgiving, probably ate a lot, you probably think about your health. Mm, I love scotch. It's for your health. I love scotch. Scotch is got scotch. Here it goes down. Down into my belly. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. So we're going to talk a little bit about, uh, you know, how you can add a little sunshine to your life. A little uh, chugging the sun. Chugging the sun. We'll talk a little bit about that. All right. We're going to chug some sun down. I like it. And we'll talk a little bit about uh, some yoga, too, probably. Just to give you some health. What kind of yoga? Uh, yoga that, fire. That special health. Yoga uh, flame. Special yoga. Yoga so, flame. I gotta poop, guys. We are, uh, I am the man they know as Z, and as always, I am joined by my robustly healthy specimen of a man, Scott Keebler. Was that a fat joke? No. I feel like that might have been a fat joke. He called me robust. No. I, I, I take offense to that. I, uh, I do triggered? not appreciate that. I feel like that uh, you need to apologize right now should i apologize to your gunt you what gunt there is no gunt because everything around that area is all healthy and strong (laughs) is that an abbreviation for fat cunt welcome to our reviews will kill you our orc universe welcome again remember this is the time of year for you to spend on your family go over to our store and purchase the Noob Noob Pillow. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. That is just amazing right there. I mean, I seriously. I just kissed myself. Wouldn't you <laughs> love to lie down to that every single night? I mean, just honestly. Oh. <laughs> I sleep I sleep with this between my legs. Like gave me the chills. My my balls rest around this area right here, actually. Oh, wow. You should turn on our YouTube to see exactly where that is. <laughs> which area? But definitely head on over to ourreviewswillkillyou.com to the store, which I was informed I need to make more readily available. But I will do that. How do you get to your store, Scott? By going to ourreviewswillkillyou.com or scottwillkillyou.com. Yeah, but how do you get to the store? Yeah, you click, you click on the merch link, or you click Where's on that, or you click on the menu where it says SWKY store at the top. Is if it, you're on your phone, system. it's not that. Easy. I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna <laughs> make it easier. All right, shut up. Uh, Actually, by the time this episode airs, it's been made easier, like a week ago. All right, because you went back in time. Yes, because I'm an expert at time traveling, and that's what I do. Awesome, because I, I can I can traveling. do that. And uh, I guess we also have the uh, Lonely Degenerate, the Noob Noob. I'm so full! His tum tum is full. I gotta poop. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Gotta clap my cheeks. Nobody nobody asked you. Oh, is this Gangster's Paradise? Noob Noob's Noob Noob is uh, a little snoopish today. What's sno- Oh, is that racist? No. No, it's no, not, that's not at all. Snoopish. You look stylish. You look stylish in that there uh, cap beanie? there, bud. Yeah. In that beanie. I do like it. It is very fashionable. It is very fashionable. It's probably messing up my hair. So. Nah. Yeah. I think it, it looks good on you. <laughs> it almost looks so good, I'm going to let you keep it. I've but I'm bad. not. I'm going to take it back. I, I don't want to take it's that back. It's not my style. He needs a pink uh, one. It should be your style. I'd rather I, you wear know, a panda hat. Maybe I should make a pink one just for Noob Noob. A pink panda? Yes, a pink panda hat. I'd put a pink panda hat on my face. Sure you would. Yes. What the hell is this? So what is... Snoop Dogg. Oh, is that why you said I look a little Snoopy? Yes. Oh, that makes yeah. sense now. Are you uh, going to tell us what's on today's episode? Uh, so the one thing I mentioned last week that I didn't mention in the actual news is machetes and frozen. Frozen <laughs> machetes. It's that, an that, outrage. Yeah, that's an outrage. An outrage. Um... Someone doesn't smoke. I know I haven't really, um, but Z has. He likes drugs. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, is that a news story? Uh, there's yeah. drugs. That's not breaking news. news. That's, com- that's common knowledge. Breaking news. Yeah, dr- Z has nose candy. <laughs> is that what you're saying? Pretty much. Uh, then there's perfectly preserved puppers in the ice. Puppers on ice, 18,000 years old. Um, then Josh Brolin got a little frisky with the sun and <laughs> frisky. Yeah. He frisky. Ain't, ain't old frisky. 
Did uh-huh. he chug a little too much, son? He, he chugged a little too much, son, with his fist in his ass. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, that's a little much. Let's keep Isn't that this a little, a little much? PG. I think, no, oh, Calm then Pete Davidson, down. speaking of asses, poopy butthole eyes <laughs> making people sign shit for lots of money. He's yeah. trying to coerce them sexually into trafficking. Uh-huh. No, I did that last two episodes. That's an old joke. Okay. I, already tra- I already trafficked their weather girl. Really? Yeah. You don't remember? Oh, my God. Whatever that's happened right. to that weather girl? I forgot <sighs> we had died. one. We called ice. Oh. Um, hold on. I forget what else is here. Um, oh, Death Stranding has online dicks. I didn't bring that story up, but I will. Uh, <laughs> We're going back to that game again? We just got to keep going back. Oh, Sadly. my God. Then we have I'm pl- walking away from that one. <laughs> we got plenty of reviews. Uh, Jack Ryan, because I keep forgetting that. Let me just do a quick review. It's okay. Moving on. Uh, Harley <laughs> Quinn premiere. Bikram Yoga. Kings of Pain. Night Before Christmas. It's adorable, but is it better than last Christmas? Probably not. And Dragon Prince. Yeah. And that's, 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 that's what we're doing? I think that's it. All right, then. I guess... Uh, what else go? everyone the best news yeah we're gonna start with the one i forgot last week which is frozen machetes how is that good news how is not (laughs) how is that good news because who doesn't like a little machete fight during children movies yes there was a machete fight outside a screening of frozen Frozen 2. 2 yeah i don't know if you would expect that to happen major scum broke out during the screening major scum Major scrum. <laughs> Major scrotum. Okay. <laughs> um, so what's the news? It, oh, I'm reading it now. Hold on. I'm reading it as I speak to you. <laughs> oh, there's a nearly nearly 100 teenagers in this scrotum fight? Oh my god, that's weird. How many scrotums Well, I mean, I guess that's maybe what teens are into. They're into During scrotum winter, fighting? A couple of them pulled out their machetes. Out of the scrotum. Where, where wait, wait, where are we where there's a bunch of teenagers walking around with machetes? I don't know. Texas? Where is this? Texas? No, Texas, they have guns. Oh, well, hold on. Oh, this pro- does it say where it is from? I don't know. If you don't... scroll down, I'm then we scrolling. Can see. Oh, my God. I'm scrolling. Yes, you're scrotum. Seriously, why is this story going on forever? I don't know. It doesn't tell us where it was. They're not letting go of this fucking story. Just let it go. Just, yeah, okay. Just gotta right. let the story go, man. Okay. Just like just like those teenagers with machetes. You should just, just let it go, man. It was in the theater, and they don't tell us where. You should just let it go. I let it go. There's I no, it. There's I no information whatsoever. Just let it nope. go. That was, a, uh, that was an Orky News special <laughs> where there was zero information and zero news. <laughs> that uh, all of our information was so, useless uh, to me. Uh, yeah, uh, we'll move on from that one. Yeah. What? Well, hold on. No, no, I'll bring that up later. Um, are you going to remember too? Or are you going to forget that one too? Forget that Probably. As well. Nah, well, okay. I'll, I'll, let's see if I, for, let's see if I forget. So Willie Nelson has agreed to not smoke anymore. Why does anyone care? Because it's Willie freaking Nelson, dude. He was like the marijuana. Like, he, he was one of the biggest proponent. advocates for it. He was all about it. He, the only reason he was in um, that stupid remake of um, uh, the, the Dukes of Hazard was because of his marijuana habit. I, I, wasn't he also in the... The uh, only reason he got to play Uncle Jesse in the Dukes, Dukes of Hazard with... Um, with those assholes. <laughs> Johnny Knoxville. With Johnny and Knoxville and the other guy. And Sean William, William Scott, Scott. Was because of Jessica his... Simpson. Because of his, she was his hot. affiliation for marijuana. Wasn't he also... Didn't he make a cameo in uh, the Dave Chappelle movie... Uh, How High? That's not what it's called. Um, it's either How half High baked. or Half, half baked. baked. There you go. Or new, new um, on top of the... All the I marijuana questions. That was a good movie. You own it? Yeah. Have you ever seen it stoned? You ever seen it stoned? I, no. That's what... Uh, Have you ever it, seen it on weed? <laughs> Isn't that what Jon Stewart... He's yeah. that guy. Yeah. He's the guy who's going to tell you everything's better on weed. But you ever seen it on weed? <laughs> That's funny. So, uh, Willie Nelson is 86 and giving up marijuana. Because of health reasons. Because yeah, he said he his ab- health is important. But it's abused. the smoke is the part that he's having an issue with. You know they make edibles, right? 
I guess. They said he started out smoking cedar bark, and then he went to cigarettes. That's ridiculous. Wow. And then he, he went... He started smoking before cigarettes even existed. Wow. And I guess he had breathing issues last... Uh, he canceled a bunch of uh, shows on his tour last well, summer. Oh, yeah. The dude's been smoking shit since he was 12. I mean, he is 86. So, yeah. Like, I guess... He did say, like, th- that's, like, his main workout is... Smoking like, weed? No, is performing. <laughs> like, oh. there's there's nothing like going out there and singing for an hour and a half. That's, like, the greatest workout you can ever have. I think that was similar to his quote. Oh, well, I mean, uh, you probably do sweat a lot under those lights and everything. I wouldn't know. Would you? What do you mean? Would you know what it's like? I don't know. It's like, do to you know perform? what it's like to perform in front of a crowd? I know yeah. what it's like. I'd have no idea. You have no idea. I have no I idea what it's like. Many no, sex acts we hid you behind a curtain. I would never because I was tucked in the back on the fucking back of the stage <laughs> behind a curtain with no lights on me half the time because the stages weren't even big enough to hold a fucking full set of lights. That's right. Drum risers? No, we don't need no stinking drum risers You're here. Hide behind a wall. Of we're gonna steel. put you on. We're gonna put you on the floor behind us. <laughs> Off to the side. Off to the side. <laughs> So, uh, Willie Nelson, though, you can still see him t- on tour. He already has dates lined it's up amazing. for It's amazing that he's still going. Can which you is, name a incredible. single Willie Nelson song? Um, no. Not by name. Neither but, like, if I, I, if I hear it, like, if I hear him, like, that's Willie Nelson, I'm going to know it right away. But I, I, not by name. I'm not that big a Willie Nelson fan. I only know him from his exploits in smoking weed. Yes. I mean, that's all you need to know him from. Willie Nelson. Let's see let's see what it says here. Willie Nelson songs. He did not write the Snoop Dogg song, I'm pretty sure. On the road again. On the road again. Something I, my old I friend. Should actually I should probably find a Willie Nelson song. No, because we'll probably get sued. Seven Spanish Angels, crazy. You're always on my mind. I've heard that song. You're always on my mind at On the Road Again. Those make sense. Yeah, On the Road Again. Yeah. I'm so. on the road again. Good for Willie I'm, Nelson. I'm, you I'm keep... driving this here car because I'm back on the road again. So next. That's how it goes. Then there is. Speaking fro- of Frozen. Yeah. Speaking of Frozen, there's Froman, Frozen Froppies. Froman Fro- Froppies? Froman Froppies. Frozen Froppies? Fucking Frozen Froppies. Frozen Froppies. Froppies. Frozen, froppies. Frozen, froppies. Yes, frozen fucking puppies. Are you your what? Eighteen thousand year old frozen puppies. <laughs> yes. How do they get them out of the ice? I, I don't know. But Scott, it's in do Siberia. You, think you know how they got them out um, of the ice? I do think I know. Although there may have been some residual damage, but uh, we're gonna try this method here. Oh, I I, I don't think uh, it worked. Let's see if he survived. Wait for it. No, he didn't. He flew very high Definitely in the air. Definitely did though. not survive. That was that was some good airtime there. So it says he died quite young. Maybe oh, wait, it's just it two looks like months. he might have a little life left in him. Oh, oh God, is he still? You know what? It looks what like the fuck. It Why looks is there like a puppy whining? It does look like he's in pain though. So oh, I, 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 I can't see this. I can't see the puppy suffer. I'm this. just gonna have to go ahead and. Uh, I'm not. Oh, fuck. Wait for it. <laughs> what? So. Uh, <laughs> There's only one reason to do this story. <laughs> so, what do you oh, think of this puppy? Why? <laughs> yeah, that's You're why. You're a piece of shit. <laughs> did you did you even look at it? <laughs> what do you mean did I even look at it? Did you even it, look at the puppy story? <laughs> did he's asking if look at those chompers. I'll tell you what. That was back when dogs were dogs. Because they're not dogs now. Look at the teeth on that thing. It's si- it looks the same. It looks no the same way. as any Dude, other dog. Dude, look at those teeth. Bring them. Up. Bring that back up. Bring that back up. Keep going. There you go. It looks no like, way. It looks like Dude. dog teeth. They look so, like dogs. So dogs, they have their canines. Their outside are like canines. But look how sharp that front row of teeth is. That's all business right there. It looks like a dog. No yeah, way, dude. Like that is that is meant for business. I had a vet friend of mine tell me how much of business that shit was meant for. That's this that's dog. not that's not like today's dog's teeth. That is a row of vicious 18, flesh rippers. Dog teeth. Eighteen thousand year old dog teeth. Are there any flesh ripping murderer? Are there any teeth? other pictures of this dog? Is it a cute Wait. puppy? Is what it, do you think, noob noob? Is it? Yeah, it's a cute As, puppy. It's a cute, cute puppy. Oh wait, it look, looks he's ready for boots. He's, pla- he's playing with that dog. That 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 ball there. Look at that. Oh oh, oh wait a second. Ball. Oh, uh, didn't. Uh, <sighs> oh 
well. Oh, Next. there it is. Dead dog. Th- no, that's not dead. It could be. It re- is. Dead. You're right. You're it right. He's not dead. Look. It. Oh, he's not dead. He's, uh, he's injured. He's injured. He's not doing. I. I don't know. It Moving is. on. I feel like I feel like we should do oh something about God. this. Scott is just beating a dead. Problem dog. is, I am I am just whipping that dead dog. I just wow. like, like just going luck. to town. Cool, Josh Brolin I'm is probably, butt chugging. You know what? Josh I want to make sure that we do things proper. Let's, Let's move on. Go ahead and put this thing down proper. Do you no. believe this though? What? It's from uh, Funny or Die. Oh, so it's not real? I don't know. I'm asking. I don't know. This is the first I hear of it. <laughs> I thought you wrote the news. Yeah, I thought you did the news, dude. Yeah. 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 That's about, that's all I got. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Did everyone yeah. have a good holiday? Are yeah. we all feeling sure. nice and rested? Yeah. Uh-huh. Because I'm glad to ruin yeah. your week. Sure. Yeah. Okay, great. I'm just going to stop. I, just, I don't know if this what is... What is a, this? Oh, is this what butt chugging is? That's the original <laughs> one. Yeah, that's what butt oh chugging is. Oh my God, is. you're just spreading your ass cheeks towards you're the sun. S- spreading your ass aimed at the sun. Yes, that's what butt chugging is, dude. You're just aiming your Hold butthole on. up at the sun. I, I don't know. This might be a joke, though. Oh my God! Just oh, chug, 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 chug. I don't know if this is real. This is from Josh Brolin. Tried this. Hold on, read, read what Josh Brolin said. Oh my God! My ass is on fire. Tried this perennial oh sunning that I've been hearing a lot about, and my suggestion is to do not do it as long as I did. My pucker hole is crazy burned. And I was going to spend the day shopping with my family. And instead, I'm icing and using aloe oh and burn God. creams because of the severity of the pain. Oh my I don't know what the F. Oh my ass <laughs> I don't know who the fire. F thought of this stupid shit. But oh nonetheless. Uh, but F you nonetheless. Seriously. Black hole sun. <laughs> Black hole Friday. <laughs> oh my god he called the santa is the santa monica fire department oh my, my, my ass it's 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 burning worse than the when i that's eat those gotta hot be wings a, a joke right oh my I, god i would imagine that's a joke i guess those, i don't know they said those fire wings were bad but oh my god i think my asshole's worse now than it was back then oh jeez. well oh. if someone else was good at oh, butt chugging the sun i would say Pete oh, Davidson why? must be the king of butt chugging oh, yes, the sun because he butt chugs all the millions of dollars away from his listeners. Yeah, but watchers. I was talking about his eyes. They are really dark. They, he butt he doesn't doesn't he butt chug with his they're eyes? They're butt chugging eyes. Actually, okay, so look at those lips, dude. Butthole eyes. I've never seen such chug. a glorious set of DSLs on a man. <laughs> <laughs> they're amazing. I don't even understand. First of all, his voice doesn't match up with his body. Second of all, is he funny? No. I didn't I don't think know so. what he is. I don't even know what he does. What is he? What? What? What is he like? A, a on butcher SNL. or something? He's he was a on butcher. SNL. Like a, he does, was he still. like a, a plumber? I don't know. Like what's he? What does he do? He's a stand-up. He's what? He's like stand in up, line? Does he stand in line for people? Hey, he was like he was nailing Ariana can, Grande. Can you get paid to stand in and line? Kate Beckinsale. So he how how does he's guy, laughing at you? How does a guy who just stands in line nail those two? Well, he was standing in line at SNL. And I mean, got granted, selected. that's like his only claim to fame is that he nailed Kate Beckinsale. But I mean, come on. I thought Aria Grande was first. Uh, I prefer Kate. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, who I mean, Ariana was first, but I, I prefer Kate. Mm-hmm. So what's like this pandas. asshole doing? Uh, he is. So he surprised fans at a recent San Francisco stand up who said they were forbidden to offer any opinions or critiques and were legally bound to never talk about the show or else they risk a million dollar penalty. So is this like good or bad critiques? Like, can you not do any kind and of critique? offer any opinions or critiques? Well, I can tell you this right now. I didn't see the show, so I didn't sign an NDA. And I'm telling you right now, there was a shit show. Okay. Well, I mean, we heard a little bit of it. Yeah, we heard he we heard that one people. where he was like, you know, going off about how you know snowflakes, snowflakes, and shit like that. Embarrassment. Is this You're dude funny? I mean, this dude's SNL, but nothing on SNL has been funny in probably a decade. So I oh, mean, is it? Pff, try twenty years. I mean, is it really? I did hear the story where like the one the one person they got the email about signing the NDA, and not only do you sign the NDA, you have to turn over your. Uh, social media accounts so they can monitor them at what? all times. Yeah, that sounds like a lie. She refused to sign the NDA 
and they gave her a full refund and told her she's not allowed to come to the show. Did he also... Uh... That's that's pretty much how it was handled. It's like, they legitimately, well, you cannot go to the show unless you sign an NDA. I think it's just a publicity stunt. How? Because he's getting press about it. We're talking about him. We're making the man famous. I mean, like, he's not going to actually fucking sue anyone for a million dollars. I told you. No, gonna, he, he's not going to, but he has a freaking army of lawyers that'd be willing to do it. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. They'll go after, they'll go after, they'll, they'll go after a freaking dying dog just for a freaking bone because it signed a fucking MDA. Oh, nope. wrong. Are you really trying to? I know. I was going after they, it. It's over here. Dragon Ball Z. Uh, nope. Nope. No, you're still doing it. God! No, God, please, no! Exactly. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Even Michael Scott was upset. What the that. fuck? Calm down, Michael Bick. Jesus Christ. Michael, whoa, jeez. Uh, you know, I forgot to ask you guys about, and it's pro- we're probably, you guys are probably too unprepared and too uneducated to know about this. I went to college. Yes, and yes. Did you yes. hear about the Peloton ad? Yes. I oh, heard, you did? Yes. I have not seen it, but I heard about it. I've only heard about it. I didn't get a chance to see it myself. What I've about heard it? about it. It's an innocent commercial that snowflakes have fucking attacked because they're idiots. Why? It's basically a dude gifted his wife a fucking exercise bike, and they're like, so that the, oh, uh, that guy thinks that his wife is fat, so she has to exercise. Yeah, but didn't they also yeah, get that's mad? That's not it how it works. creepy because he's like, now you don't have to go into the gym where the guy's like touching on you and yeah, rubbing you down. Yeah, probably because she said, can you please get me an exercise bike so I don't have to go to the gym where I have men fucking molesting me all the time. So you're just blaming snowflakes? Yes. Maybe she wants to be molested. Apparently Peloton yeah, that's stock prices Asshole. went down because of the stupid ad. Because it's stupid. Because it's so oh. I I I turn go watch this on face YouTube so you can see how much I'm face palming. This face is just tube. YouTube, Facebook, whatever. Face just, palm. This is horrible. Like face I, tube, I can't you book. I can't face palm hard enough. Uber. With how stupid this shit has become. Uber. With People just bitching about every little thing. It doesn't even make sense. It's it's a fucking thirty second commercial. I, I thought there was about a, like a guy a version. about a guy getting his wife a gift. There's nothing special about it. And people <laughs> are complaining because oh he thinks his wife has to exercise because he's a chauvinistic piece of shit man. And the only reason he's with her is because she's in shape. And did the, 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 shut the fuck up, oh, man. Explain you sick of this sick of this dumb crap. We have gone too far. We have gone into stupid, and I don't think there's going to be return for us. Okay, next. Uh, okay. Duh. I think, yeah, that's about it. That's it for the news. That oh no, death stranding online dicks. That's right. Oh, hold oh, on. God. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know what this is. Somehow they've managed to uh, have Death Stranding people. It's it's like an online game, but it's not really online. <laughs> you did you Google Death Stranding online lick or on lick on lick <laughs> online dicks online dicks Death Stranding online. There is dicks. no Norman Reedus penis God, in Death Stranding. Okay. Sorry, I want to see Norman Reedus' penis. <laughs> oh, that's I shouldn't have typed that in that way. I only got this game. The so only, I don't know, people are complaining because, like, you can leave cars in different places and, like, block entrances to things and stuff like that, so people are grumbling. I think it's stupid. I think it's funny that there's still fucking assholes out there that do that shit to fuck up with other people, even just in a game as dumb as this one. I just wanted uh, Noob this is Noob a to game. look up Death Stranding dick. This is a game about you being a fucking delivery driver for Amazon. And well, yet- what, how would you feel if uh, your Amazon driver left your, their truck in your in your freaking front door? That's pretty much how it is every time. That's... Dude, I had I had a delivery service. I'm not going to name what they are, but they start with an F and end with an X. But they showed up in a U-Haul truck, not even U-Haul. in uniform, with our packages buried in the front under everything else. It's absolute fucking chaos. The whole delivery service, the whole all this online stuff, it's in, it's out of control. It's Amazon's out of control. getting major flack right now because they lost like three packages. Which is a system that they created they in the lo- first wait, place. Wait, they only lost three packages. There's people complaining about Amazon, like they, some packages were lost, other ones were like a day late. Are you talking so about yourself? People or are the bitching whole about. World? No, this is a whole world. This was like made the news. I saw that this three on the packages news. Got lost. I saw this on the news where the news is reporting that Amazon lost a couple packages and some were a day late and da 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 da. 
Amazon did this shit to themselves. If they didn't offer this one day delivery, no one would know any better. <laughs> and they'd have no problem about? with it. They did it to themselves. Scott's rant of the evening. Ugh. Something about losing packages exactly. in his mind. Uh, so what are we doing now? Are we done the news? Oh, reviews, yeah. Dude, there's no news that you forgot. Really? Not one. Did I forget Did a you forget news something? Story? Not one news story. Are you story? sure? Do we need to go back? No, I'm pretty. Is this a trap? Do we need to review the Irishman again? No. It's still playing. It's still it's playing. Probably still it's playing. never stopped. Yeah. It's just been going. It's still Nobody time. needs more Joe Pesci. More Joe Pesci. Yeah. I think that's it, honestly. Did I forget something? I don't know. Is I'm it, pretty sure I did. Is it, You're is the it news over? writing guy. Is it over? I mean, I, I don't I don't want to go too far until I know that uh, you didn't forget something. I think we're good. You should review we your... All right, let's go. Wait, are we sure? I'm pretty uh, sure. We're sure we're not? Okay, we're going to go. Yes, I'm sure. Oh, wait. wait. Are we absolutely sure? What did we talk about in person that we didn't talk about on the show? Uh, That weird burning sensation when you pee. No. Well, <laughs> yes, but no. Yes, what was it? No. Shit. There was something what was. that we talked about. We just talked about this while we're eating. All right. You know what? Don't worry about it. We're just going to go reviews. We're we'll just going to go reviews. Fuck it. Let's Wait, do it Wait. Are you sure? Do, we, do you want to figure out what it is? I really do. It's going to annoy me. I'm going to I'm gonna break the whatever How review How about we have doing. breaking news? We'll have breaking news. When you remember on it. It. All right. Fine. So let's go to, we'll go on reviews. That's fine. Wait. Are we sure? When, you can, no. All that, right. Yeah, let's go to reviews. Jesus. No more Wait, interruptions, Scott. Are you sure? Son of a bitch. No more interruptions. Scotch. I love scotch. Okay. Scotch is got scotch. Here scotch is good scotch. Down. Down my belly. So what are we talking about first? Uh, Bikram is apparently a type of yoga, and he is also a sexual predator. Uh, so Wait, there's what? A, yeah, I don't know. I'm just saying things. So on Netflix, <laughs> there is a, a documentary movie, yes. something or other, uh, called Bikram I Yogi. Dick sometimes. Well, did he? No, Was he it's, gay? It's Bic- no, Wait, he's look, definitely not. He's not gay. But look no. at the way he's touching that man. Bikram Yogi, Yogi Guru, Guru and Predator, predator. Yeah. versus Alien. Versus oh, zombies. Yeah. Versus We're zombies. Go ahead and get what some is the audio? There's no done. critic consensus. Yeah, there's only 18 fucking reviews. We're going to go ahead and do some yoga. Why did the audience only give it a 55% rating? Out of 29 people? That's We're going to get you in some positions that you are yoga going to you enjoy. Up. enjoy. We're going to yoga ah. you up, baby. Yeah. Weren't you a guru at some point, Scott? We're going to go ahead and stretch you out. Actually, I was. In the past life, I was a guru. It was amazing. But no longer. It was no longer. See, unfortunately, what it was is, you know, once you use the words cult, people tend to mm. stop following you. But, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm willing to, to try again if I uh, could just find something here. What could I use? Uh, I don't know. But this guy was the would, uh, creator of uh, help Bikram Yoga, which is also known as, like, I guess, hot yoga. Oh, that's that. We would I like it was just called hot yoga. For you to join. In our no one's gonna do yoga with you, Scott. You might as well just cut it out while you're ahead. Oh, all right. I, I, no I one's gonna do yoga somewhere. with no you. one's gonna do because I, I don't do yoga. No, I, I they might agree with you. I can barely crew. tie my goddamn shoes. How am I gonna do yoga? I don't know. But uh, I tried. I tried that butt chugging stuff. I only got one leg up in the air, and that was only like half a foot. I can't even get my feet up high enough to butt chug. The only way I was able to do it was to go to a tanning salon and sit on the table. <laughs> you went to a tanning salon, and, and and I took my pants off and sat on the table. <laughs> that was the only way I could butt chug any sun. Uh. That when if I'm in a position, trust me right now. If I'm in a position where my asshole is pointed directly at the sun, I'm in trouble and I need help. I think the world. I'm not in trouble. getting back up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm jammed up. I probably have a broken limb or two. Uh, I am not getting back up. So, it's yeah. It's not happening. What the hell is going on? I don't know. I'm asking for help. Basically, uh, this yoga guy who's like a multi-billionaire, it, he started molesting some of his uh, students. And, uh, you know, I'd have them massage the <laughs> dick a little bit. 
just a little bit. You know, you'd start with the legs, so then his them. feet. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. And then they. Uh, the weird thing about this is that he they they uh, he fled the country and no one ever prosecuted him. I mean, so he's operating yoga studios like all like in Spain I and mean, in it, South it, America. It, it worked for Roman Polanski, I guess so. But it's weird though, because some of the girls like they took settlements instead of like pressing charges too. So I don't I mean, know. Money, so the, money so, helps. So, I mean, I there, there, money helps there is a things. mystery, especially in like today's world that's like sue first, ask second. You know, you, you question the people that take the money first. Yeah. But I don't know. You also, that, you also, the credibility you also, of the you show. You also can't make light of somebody who was molesting people. I mean, that's still fucked up in itself. And it was real weird because he would like he would rip people and he would yell at them and be like he uh, ripped them. I mean, that's just violent. That's not really molesting. That's murder. He had a really good saying too. He said, "You can train a donkey for a hundred years and it will never be a horse." Eh, I don't know about that. I don't know. I mean, we. I mean, we can try. I mean, I I happen to have a. Uh, a couple donkeys over here. You're going to train them for 100 years? We're, we're going to try. I mean, we'll, <clears throat> what we'll do is we'll start training them, and, and we'll see uh, if we can, can uh, w- bring them into shape. Are you just going to whip them into Behave, shape? Behave, donkey. Behave. Why, why must there be it's so not, much animal abuse? There's it's a not, lot of animal abuse. Behave. I don't, this, this donkey is not, it's not responding to... This is really There's only one donkey I know here. It's not. What's the next review? So, oh, you didn't even ask me whether or not it was a good documentary. I didn't seem like it. It's, you know what? It's okay. <laughs> I don't think this 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 donkey's not really be responding. I'm just gonna do this. Oh, oh wait. Are you gonna shoot him? Uh, I had it loaded first. Jeez. I nice. still think I think hot yoga. There's benefits to it, and it's a shame that this guy's name was attached to it. How's that sound? sound I mean, good. But he bu- created it. They didn't. No, he just. He actually didn't create it. He stole it from somebody yeah, else. Yeah. Why? But. I don't. I don't get this hot yoga thing either. Like I can sweat just sitting in a room. I don't need to go into another room that's a million degrees. Maybe a, you and do downward that. facing dog to sweat. I can do that sitting here. Maybe that would watch. Help. Look, I'm sweating now. See, it happens. Yeah, but that's you're not sweating life. enough. Yeah, it needs to be I, like need to go, I need to go into a thousand degree room so I can yes. sweat more while I'm in baby Yoda. That's called exercise, position. Scott. <laughs> Wait, what is this thing? It's called exercise. I've never heard of this word. <laughs> yeah, dude, this, what's this word you speak what is of? This, what is this word? I, I've i never heard of <laughs> Do before. Do not what, What's Ex- the next review, ex- stupid? Exercise. Oh, yeah, uh, so we're going to do... What do we want to do here? What's vamping it? about yoga for the next I was 10 just hours. Like, wow, this is really intriguing. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> so the Harley Quinn premiere on DC streaming, that, that seemed fun. That was a thing. Yeah. It's really violent. It's voiced by Kaylee Cuoco. Super violent. Kaylee Cuoco. Yeah, the hot girl from Big Bang Theory. I do like Kaylee Cuoco. I don't like her voice in this. Ah, She sounds like a normal girl. Do you have a clip of her? She just sounds normal. She doesn't sound like she's She sounds normal everything. No, it's what she says that's insane, not how she sounds. How 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 should an insane person sound, Z? She should have a little more enthusiasm. I don't know. Like, like, like Alan Tiddick, Noob? do you think he did a good job? Who plays the Joker in this? Who's also Mr. Nobody in uh, Doom Patrol? He's yeah, he's, he's, doing, a he's doing a fine Joker. Doesn't I mean, but sound... Joker's also not the primary like character. In yeah, this. but does he sound unhinged? Enough. She does. They're delivering like a normal they're delivering girl. lines. She has no. She sounds like a normal girl, but it's the things she says that are off kilter and offbeat and don't make think her she's doing insane. A good job. I think she's almost got the voice, but she's not there yet. I think you're over analyzing her voice well, when the rest of the show is actually a pretty good show. Yeah, but if you're, I, I'm comparing it like we compare the Joker voices and we compare so, all the so, other things. So in, in Suicide original, Squad, what's her name? She had a good Margot Harley Robbie Quinn was voice. Better. Margot Robbie's better. What did she do differently? She had the accent. So? Kelly Kuko didn't even bother with the accent. Does, do you need an accent to be Harley Quinn? The original Harley Quinn has The Batman accent. in Titans was English. Who cares about the accent? He was trying for an American accent. And he, he didn't do it. it. He was still English. Who cares about the accent? So you'd like a British Joker? I, sure. Let's be different. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm so serious. He could drink... He could drink tea. Oh, I so serious. He could drink tea while murdering the masses. Nothing wrong with that. I'm as a voice it's actress. Okay. I think she's a little weak. She doesn't voice act. She just voice. I think. She for, I think act. if that's she the just, first yeah, time she's done point. voice act, she's doing yeah, really she's good for the first time. Yeah. 
I yeah, I like it. She's just voicing. I'll tell you what. I watched both of these episodes as well, and one thing I did not draw from it was, oh, Harley Quinn's voice acting is subpar. No, it was fine. Did you even think about the other Joker? No. Why not? Because there was no point in thinking about the other Joker. What other Joker? So Alan Tiddick does his version of the Joker, just like the ones from like the Justice League episodes. That Joker sucked. I don't like that Joker at all. But he was only in two Justice League episodes. Okay, well I didn't like the, that Joker because it was just because because they just made him a throwaway character in that. I mean, and so so what? So, so you what? just so like he's, just he was a he was a throwaway maybe character. You voice Harlequin. He then. was a throwaway you character. Show up for two voice. episodes in Justice League. No one cared. It, and yeah, I don't care about the voice on this. But her voice isn't so bad that I'm complaining about it. I I think you, you know what I complain it. about. Here's what I complain about. In the first episode, there was too much cursing. Yes, there was. It was cursing. forced cursing in the first episode. The second episode, they fixed that. No more problem. It was just natural. Yeah, it was. It, it was the so cursing was much cursing in the, the first, first one episode. Was well, forced. Saying, it was shit, just fuck. Yeah, like I mean, every other word. Yeah, it was every word, but it was just like like a character was just standing there doing nothing. They'd be like, "Fuck!" Like <laughs> for no reason whatsoever. Just, just like threw it. it out there. It was, yeah, they didn't do it in the second episode. It was it was fun. It's not bad. I don't complain about her voice acting. It I seems think they did, did fine. It it's the same. The first episode is the same as a as a Batman animated series episode. I like and how that was I better. like I like how she's normal on top of being crazy. Like yeah. the times with her and Poison Ivy just hanging out in the apartment interacting, it's like almost normal. And then she says something so off the wall, and Poison Ivy reacts properly to that, where it's like, all right, this is fun. It's, I like it's, the part where good. she shows her a picture of herself, and she's like, "Oh, you're talking to the picture right now, yeah. aren't you?" Yeah, like, Poison Ivy fun. knows. Like she's point. She's and she's like, "Yes," and the picture's making sense. <laughs> it was kind of funny. There was a couple good jokes. Yeah, I think it's okay. Uh, you don't think it's a little uh, wokey woke? Uh, Especially it, coming from a woman in episode later. two, the femininity was strong. Mm. Mm. But hate, not like not woman? so much that Kite Man was way too me too. Who Kite Man? Okay, I don't know who Kite Man is. So. Episode two. Oh, because you didn't see episode two, so I can't yeah. spoil anything. Uh, Does he me too, or he gets me too? He me too's. Oh, mm. and then doesn't, doesn't the Joker kind of like me to her? Ooh. The Joker and Harley Quinn's relationship is a Me Too movement. I'm okay with in that. In itself. Yeah, I'm okay with like, that. I'm and just that's, it and that's been the better. premise. That's the premise of their relationship from the very start. They just it's, act it's, like this has never happened yeah, before it's and you've sto- already it's seen it. Stockholm's meets crazy. Crazy. No, I, I get it. I like the first episode. I just, I remember seeing like lots of rave reviews. Episode two. I was not like blown I think, away. I was I just think, like, oh, this is okay. You know what? Let's, let's, let's put this on the back burner and next episode we'll, we'll talk about episode two and three because by the time we get there, you'll have two and three, maybe four, who knows, and we'll re-explore this and I feel like you'll have a different um, concept. I think it's worth sticking with for now. It's, it's worth, I saw episode two is very much worth sticking with. It's fun. Okay, well, let's keep keep going. Uh, I don't even. I can't find this even on Rotten Tomatoes. King Kings of Pain is that a show? That's a thing. Yes, yeah. the Kings of Pain. Is that like a porn show? Or? No, there it is. What TV is it? show. Yeah, I'm kind of lost on this too. A look at wildlife biologist and professional animal handler as they get bit and stung. Oh, so they purposely? <laughs> yes, they do. Allow themselves to get attacked. Yes, by oh, that sounds kind of that, that sounds gnarly. <laughs> yeah, it is gnarly. That sounds super gnarly. That is a. It's an interesting. <laughs> that's an interesting concept, is it not? <laughs> that's what I said. So that's why I was like, oh, these two jackasses are willing to get stung and bit by things. So, so they're all they're doing is just taking the stings and the bites, and they're just seeing how bad it really is. So there was a a book written. They they have a whole. Premise. I thought this was gonna be some, like some weird documentary on Netflix, and I'm not. It's I, on History I, Channel. I am pleasantly surprised at this one. It's on History Channel, and they usually take a couple of animals, and they're like, all right, we're going to get bit or stung. And and what they're doing is there was a book written about 30 years ago or 20 years ago that ranked pain of all these different animals. Oh, okay. And what they're doing is trying to reevaluate that pain Let's See if it's and one has and gone up or down. To it. And so are, are they doing, like, deadly animals where they like they need antidotes and stuff? 
I don't know. I only watched one episode. I oh. doubt it. Like, it's a python. Like, that's not going to kill you. No, with python's bite. not. Yeah, that's not. I mean, you no. will need an antidote, like, to, to reduce the side effects, but it's not going to murder you. That can't be it, good It's for not your venomous. Body. Pythons aren't venomous. They have no Oh, venom. no, no. You're right. They do. Uh, they constrict. Yes. Yes. So, I've been bit by a python. It didn't hurt that bad. Was it a big python or a little yeah, python? Yeah, 12 foot long. 12 foot? That's yeah. a decent. How do you that's get a good size python. python. It, what? How do you get bit by a python? Magic. Z, I feel like when it comes to snakes, twelve foot long is a more than average size. I feel I like always carry around you, big snakes. You always, uh, you always find yourself the more than average size snakes. Just the if, way I roll. Uh, as for long as I've known you, you've always uh, tracked down the larger, is, of the, the larger size of the snakes. Went. Yes. Oh, oh, is, does does that mean he goes after bigger dicks? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Or has, Is whatever. That, oh, you have? Has, has, <laughs> have, have, have. Tomorrow. Have I mean, had. past, present, it's all just a matter of time. Sledgehammer, remember? That's it's why all, you wrapped uh, up meat in the Stromboli. It's not really, it's, uh, it, yeah, yeah, he's not, he's not called Sledgehammer because of the size of himself. It's because of what he can take. <laughs> Go to images real quick. Okay. Let's get there eventually. <laughs> uh, it was so hard, you know. So okay. do we have like a list of things that these guys have been bit or stung by? Because like oh, I see, there's a, a there's a black tarantula. There's a black wasp tarantula. There's a couple snakes. I'm sure they're gonna do a bullet ant at some point. Uh, yeah. Dude, oh yeah, dude. They're gonna boys, do millipedes. I saw I saw the one where they had the um the 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 tribe the, the African tribe whatever it is where they do the gloves of bullet ants. Oh yeah. Oh no my good. god. <laughs> or they they're probably also you know gonna get bit or by fire ants or whatever. According to this, the Mandalorian. <laughs> they're gonna get bit by the Mandalorian. Baby Yoda's gonna bite them. Ba right in the dick. Baby Yoda's gonna bite them right in the dick. Baby Yoda's got some chompers on though. He could do some damage. So I don't know. I, he ate a frog. I found the show to be a little long and a little formulaic, but it was it's definitely intriguing. Of course this show's gonna be formulaic. Yeah. I mean that's that's what these shows are. Yeah, but I was intriguing. They're so. quote unquote reality TV. It's well, it's, that's it's the a other form, thing. It's, there's a process. Is this how real is this? Um, this when on it comes scale of one to real. Actually, when it comes from one to real, this is up there because these guys are actually getting stung and bit by these insects. They look like what they say they are, so if, I would assume if they, they show you up if close. If they were, like, I mean, if they were like, here's a fake arm. Like, if no. it was obviously like, there's a fake arm, that's no, what got bit, and then the real. guys are acting it out. Then yeah, I could see it. But I mean, if these guys are walking the walk, good for them. Uh, the I mean, the two got bit by a tarantula. And tarantula tar tarantulas I mean, don't typically bite humans, but they got the fangs in there, and they, that thing was like jump, I jump, mean, jump, granted, jump. It, like if you were paying me enough, I'd do it too. Absolutely. Uh, one thing I was worried about for those guys was their tattoos. I was like, this is totally. Do they have shit tattoos? tattoos? No, but the, all the pain and the swelling and the. Do you know their arms like would are they get are they getting the bit on the tattoos and shit? No, but their arms swell up to like twice the size of the normal it, hand. It would be interesting to see like I'll what blow out their tattoos. But it would be interesting to see like the effect it had on their tattoos as well. Yeah, so you know, it's I mean, there, there, there's a lot to learn there. So check out Kings of Pain on uh, History Channel if you're a glutton for punishment. We'll check it out again. We'll it's follow too up much on for this noob, one. Noob. This will be another done. follow up. Hate what do they do? What if they do with the animals? Don't like let go. Uh, I have an idea. I think I know. Yeah, yeah. You have to do something. If they don't let go, you have to go ahead like and let uh, it go like frozen. Make sure, make sure. Yeah, make sure it detaches. So this what? is how we. This is how we make sure an animal detaches. Oh, oh boy. Yes, they use guns on ants and wasps and fire ants and fire ants and yes. <laughs> and uh, ants. I don't even know. Uh, <laughs> so the next one is Dragon Prince. Is another show that's on Netflix. That had another season, I think. Maybe I don't. It's on season it, so. three. Is it? Does yeah, it's season care? three. Season three. Doesn't With it's good. It's a good show. It, it, it was a good show. It ended good. It actually. Um, it could end now, and it would be fine. And it could end now. They did leave a little teaser in there to allow for a season four. Yeah. I did feel like they did season three had a proper ending to it. They didn't need to. They they don't need to continue on to a season four. But they Agreed. did drop that little teaser at the end, which allows them to go to a season four if they want to. And the show goes at a, a brisk pace. It's only, what, nine episodes? Nine episodes. It does move. It, is it, it nine or is it 13? I forget. Either, either way, one, either pretty, way, it moves along well. It's, pre it's pretty, yeah, it moves along well. 
high fantasy with a little bit of modern sensibility in it, and the, uh, the and the and the little little baby, little wokey, but it doesn't well, bother me so it's, much. It's cutesy. It's got the cutesy woosy aspect to it. Well, like, it also has like the, some you know, it's got some representation. Which yeah, is fun. like the the baby dragon sounds like a puppy. He does. It, Even though like, he's supposed to be intelligent and speak at some point. Uh, at some point, yes, but like baby, baby, yeah, it sounds like a puppy. It got it got it got my doll into it right away. My girl is completely adorable. into it just because of the sound of the puppy. Uh, she's like, because I was watching it. She it came, is adorable. Like she stopped by and like I was in the middle of watching. It. She's like, why does it sound like a puppy? All right, I'm into uh, this. So in. she's so she's gonna go back to season one and she's just gonna carry on and uh. she's gonna do it. I do know the moments you're talking about where there's a little wokeness to it. It's not bad. I mean, they do have like one, characters like it's one is forced, one is natural, and this is actually a great example of when we say when a character is forced and when it's not forced. Yeah, isn't it always bad not to force? Well, that's kind of the problem Shouldn't here. That's kind of the argument. Anything. So season season three, they have they have a gay character, they have some lesbian characters, they have two guys that are in love, they have two girls that are in love. The two guys that are in love is just straightforward, blunt to it. It doesn't add or take away from the story. The two guys? But just like any love story, it doesn't add or take away from the story at all. It has nothing to do with it. Whereas the lesbian couple at the end was like a natural flowing. These two were enemies and then came together. And it was a natural, it was, and it was a natural and beautiful thing, but just like every love story, there has to be reason for it. You can't just throw shit in there and be like, oh, we have these gay characters. Yeah, they're in there for no goddamn reason. No one gives a shit because it has nothing to do with the story and you're just forcing bullshit. Hmm. And Uh, if it was straight, lesbian, it doesn't matter. If you're forcing that in there because it has nothing to do with the storyline, no one gives a shit. Make it natural. Write good. Write to good. Write good. That's proper English. Trust me. And no one will have a problem. But yeah. when you just force and you do sloppy writing and you don't care about your story, then it's pro- then then it's problematic. Some I, people like to have it forced. I think it would be a little difficult to do sign language in battle or be the leader of other people and be forced to do sign language. But also, there are times that that would be a huge advantage. How? It, it, well, that's not true because there are like seals. They use sign language. Exactly. But I'm just saying, if you're trying to command like thousands of foot soldiers, that's probably not that easy. I mean, sign language is going to go further than screaming in a battlefield. No, not according to to fucking sign language. What's his face? Uh, Braveheart. He did a pretty good job. Oh yeah, because he 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 had a speech. He had a speech for millions. Yeah, that like twenty people around him heard. That's how like <laughs> the twenty people. You know what? It's, it's so it's like Monty Python's Life of Brian when they they do this scene where Jesus is up on the rock talking and the people are in the back and he like he's like, "Blessed are the timid," and the people in the back are like, "Did he just say blessed or Timmy?" No, that's not what he said. The people in the back aren't ever going to hear you, but I guarantee you, who is up there doing sign language? The people in the back will be like. I saw that shit. Yeah, and but I got then you can said. always have that incident where, like Obama had, where a guy walked up and just started faking signing, and it wasn't real at all. Wait, what? I feel like that's yeah, not that going to be as big an issue on a battlefield. Well, okay, fine. There was a guy who actually I don't feel like, walked up. I don't feel like there's going to be eight, to signing, fake signers. And he was totally making up all of it. It was not real. It was yeah. the whole thing. Yeah, it was, was making stuff up. Gestures. Just I don't being think- like. And I don't think that was the only time it happened. I think it happened other times as well. I remember hearing that story other places. Yeah, it's happened. Where so like, so what uh, happened to him? They, or, or they, <laughs> he got arrested? I don't know. Or, or they, they hired people that claimed that they were signers and they, and they had no not. clue. That would probably piss me off if I... Oh, that'd be funny. Yeah. You ever see signers at concerts? There is a like, really... Why, why do you have sign language at concerts? Well, here's something. Let's talk about sign language for one second. Um... There's this whole movement in colleges. I know Oxford University tried to uh, uh, observe it. They were saying that clapping triggers people, and they're trying to be inclusive. Oh, my God. So they were trying to say that we should do jazz hands instead of clapping. No snapping. That might trigger me. Snap will still trigger people. No, I need jazz hands. To agree with me. Jazz hands, jazz hands. Please. Because they're trying to be inclusive of people who have... 
get stressed by clapping. I feel I feel like the uh, the hippie of Futurama where he's like, don't clap your hands because every time you do that, you kill a million of microorganisms on your palms. Just an enthusiastic thumbs up will be fine. So then, but, but what do you do about all the people who are who need things that are signed to them and they or there's no clapping? Like you're you're. I don't know. You're just showing jazz hands and they can't uh, see. I mean, that's kind of what sign language is. Sign well, language is blind. Sign language is jazz hands. No, but what if they're blind? Is then you I'm talk saying. to them. <laughs> but if you're not clapping and no one claps and they just so hear this thing, this speech, and they think, this is an awful speech. And people are just jazz handing. Jazz and they handing. go, oh, I don't understand. Is this guy, they hate this guy. That's when, you, ha- that's, that's when you, you take away the signer and you have somebody, a narrator, and, be, and just be Slow like. clap. Real softly clap. Everyone around you is He's displaying jazz hands. jazz hands right now. So you're all for the jazz hands and inclusivity. The speech is actually rather enthralling, and for those of you that can't see, they are enthusiastically your jazz handing you around you. Let me know that everyone is enthusiastically jazz handing around Let's you. Let's see your jazz hands, Noob Noob. My, my jazz fingers. It's like <laughs> it's only two fingers. He can't even do a shocker. He can't even do the. It's shocker. like the um. It's like the applause symbol. At like you know at that's recorded venues and stuff, not even close. That's rock and roll. So it's not even or devil. That's the devil that's horns. Satan. So um and that's, and that's and that's a wolf. And it's so, the shocker. Um, and that's the shocker. You forgot so, your pinky um, and your thumb. The thumb's just the teaser. And what's wrong with your pinky? <laughs> now you have a whole hand out. You can't do this, can you? Your hands are not functional. He's clapping. You can't yeah. clap. You can't. You're gonna trigger people. Don't clap. You're triggering. <laughs> You're triggering me. All right, next, 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 um, next. So I watched a movie about a, a shining night. You did? Yeah, the night before Christmas, but it's it's a night with a K. <laughs> what kind of K? I'll the hard K. Defecate. What the fuck? What was that? What was that? That's uh, that's that night telling you to make you shit. What? Uh, what? Yeah. Listen. Well, I mean this. Listen. I'll make you defecate. And what is I'll that make from? You defecate. Okay. That's 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 the greatest night of all time, Ozzy Osbourne. Oh, and he'll make you defecate. And yes, that's actually his newest song. No, it's not. That he released, is it? and that is a line from. I'll make you defecate. Get out of town. Uh, for yes, I. That's I, the new Ozzy that song. That is the new I Ozzy we can't play Osbourne. It, but, oh my! Straight to hell, and he'll make you defecate. And that is actually a. Line Line from said song. Better talk over the whole thing, or else I mean, we're gonna get you. I'll actually, hold on. I'm gonna open it up this shit way. in my mouth. What? So, yeah, that's actually. The, I'll take so, your all right, shit and that's the funny thing. Like, mouth. YouTube's gonna try flagging us, but I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna put it back up. It's not that big a deal. I don't want to put it. As back long up. as it's news, which this is news. Ozzy Osbourne released a brand new song, and this is news. Don't play it. Just play the one line. That's all. Okay, well, we're so damn taken down, dude. Isn't he like eighty-five years old? He's you he's up there. He just he actually he just turned seventy-one this week. Seventy-one? That's it? Yeah. Wow, he's actually here. It is. Wait, wait, wait for it. What okay. is going on here? He'll make him I scream don't. and shit. Yep. <laughs> okay. So well. Ozzy just made 71, which is an age that nobody thought he would make <laughs> ever. And he already worries enough basic, about defecating. Basic, whenever he goes up on stage, he's just like a talking like puppet because he's like, you know, they've got the, the teleprompters up and everyone around him has to kind of like guide him to do his next thing. They just push him and make sure yeah, he doesn't fall over. They just push him and make sure he doesn't fall over completely. But yeah, he uh, he's decided he's gonna keep making music and he's hey, gonna sing Lord. about uh, his defecating. everyday struggles. Yeah, including defecating. Yeah, so the so back to the night before Christmas. Yeah, so that's uh the newest crazy Netflix Christmas movie. Uh, the, follow- make you the audience clearly wanted to defecate the, after the seeing follow this. up from last year's Christmas Chronicle. It's uh, in the same related. universe. Oh wait, no, it's not related. So, so they brought the guy. Back. So here's what they did: they brought the guy back to life. All right, what? the guy donated his heart and no, she took the heart movie. and fell in love with it. And in the night nope. before Christmas, they remove the heart nope. from her, no. thus killing her, no. and implant it back into the guy. No, it's not that kind of night. 
And then when he wakes up, he is now in love with the woman who shared his heart. So That's we didn't not have that trend. kind of night. This is why I should write these it's movies. It's not Deadly Night, amazing. Silent Night. It's Night before, before Christmas. Christmas. Yeah, so it, it's a pretty straightforward plot. It's just a time travel. <laughs> a night travel. magically appears before Pre- Christmas. That's that's pretty much all. And you win. It. That's yeah. the plot. No twist. Uh, no. no what a twist? No, there really was no twist at all. Just uh, a <laughs> little just the defecation. An just evil defecation. wizard was like, okay. An evil gonna... wizard. That, that's <laughs> not wizard. a twist. It's not an evil wizard. I don't know. It was some old weird lady. Who was wizard, like, you're going to go. Some, some, Wait, it was, was it some, a lady or a dude? A lady. <laughs> so why is she a wizard? A lady looking dude. Or she was looking lady. Some, some like tranny wizard came out and she's <laughs> like. I'll make you desiccate. And he's like, no, I'm going to go to Ohio instead. And she's like, well, that's about right. What? <laughs> what? Why, why, why did she go to you Ohio? You have to go to Ohio because that's, that's where, where you he shit. time traveled Because you that's shit in Ohio. That's where Vanessa Hudgens were in Ohio. Vanessa Hudgens is in Ohio. Yeah, but. They're, they weren't in Ohio. They yes, were they in were. England. No, they weren't. Knights he was weren't. in England. And how... Did, so not only did he time travel, but he space traveled? Yes. Like from the from point the to point? from the 14th century England to 2019 Ohio. Okay. Through and a wormhole? Just to be in love with Vanessa Hudgens. Was it a wormhole? Who looks kind of cute in this movie. Kind of? Yeah. And She's not like full panda cute, but like she cute. She cute? Yeah. Does she's not, not tub tub like you said what's the uh what are some of the bad reviews saying the huh. bad reviews are just like this movie is pointless <laughs> <laughs> it probably is everything about the plot feels lazy and dull the <laughs> editing is so it choppy is. and fast it feels like even the editor's bored. also true you didn't watch a the sweet movie, nothing that's i can know i just guess it's just sweet just from that picture just from that movie poster i can know that this is a piece of shit i'm already bored <laughs> so sweet it might be I'm bored you're bored what? this person said none of it makes any sense and it's fine in fact I love it <laughs> what is wrong with you cause is it is it like a Hallmark movie kinda that's yeah. why cause cause this Hallmark like thing they have this freaking like oh I'm triggered they have this uh this recipe down that they know works every time so they do is just follow the same recipe and they're good well this one says uh it's so sweet it might give you diabetes i'm triggered <laughs> but if saccharine is to your liking then, then this movie should if be you, right up your if you find you have shoot. a if you feel like you have a weird addiction to saccharine then i'll make you what is saccharine <laughs> it's not it's not a thing it's it, <laughs> is that fake sweetener no that's not what saccharine is it's like a, a term about like something being like very oh, that's, it's endearing. Not, it's not an additive they use to make no, dough rise. No, I didn't add it. No, that no? would be yeast. Oh, <laughs> oh, I thought that was um. You're talking about sweet and low. <laughs> that's what it is. What it's sweet, sweet and low. You got sweet, sweet and low. I got sweet and low and sacred confused. Oh, okay. low and sweet. I thought that it was what they added to the vault to make the beer uh, become alcohol. Yeast. Oh, not saccharin. <laughs> no, not okay. saccharin. Uh, is that what they put in needles to make um, vaccines? Is, no, in vaccines. Is that heroin. what they put in vaccines to make children autistic? <laughs> what? No, they put mercury in. You can oh, make children yes. autistic? Well, yeah, with vaccines. Oh my Jenny God. McCarthy said so. Yeah. Jenny McCarthy he, is going to make my child autistic? You don't have yes. any children. Saccharin means excessively sweet or sentimental. See, it's a sweetener. It's not to be confused with saccharin. Sweetener. Which, Which is, is a synthetic sweetener. So you were close, Scott. Close. There is a synthetic sweetener called saccharin. So. And this one is also called saccharin. It was banned in 1981 because it's carcinogenic. So you probably should stop using it, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, unless I don't, I don't use saccharin. I just use saccharite. <laughs> which is a bomb that I applied to my testicles uh, to keep them from curling too much. What? It's called Sacrite. Anyway. Sacrite, it's for the balls. Sacrite, it's for the balls. Did you Sacrite, enjoy it's for the balls. This movie. Yeah, so the movie is, is not really that great, but if, if you're looking for a stupid Christmas movie, then it's right up. Yeah, that, that review is pretty accurate. That's honestly. what you wanted? Was yeah. it stupid? Like it was really? enjoyable. Is that, the, is, that the, is, cute? is that the only reason that you brought this up? Because of what? He loves these dumb movies. Yeah, and they got a, it's got a cute lead. Vanessa Hudgens. Sure. She's looking like a snack. You suck so much. You suck more. You're on sure. your phone. What are you, me now? Look at him on his fucking phone. I don't phone. know what he's doing. I'm, what are you doing? I'm working right now. No, are we not. done with these reviews? Yeah, I think that is the last one. Is that the go, last Go review? watch it on the is Netflix. Is that the end of it? 
Yeah, I think so. Uh, all right. I don't care that much about last night to keep making fun of it. Do you? There's no, nothing to make fun not of. Not really. It's Oscar worthy. Oscar worthy. Yeah. Arazi was the knight so handsome? He really wasn't. I was like, yo, I could get her. Like, what Oh, the fuck? wait, you're saying he's not I mean, handsome? He's not that handsome, no. Wow. Can't find what I was going for. Got I was a dumb haircut, I don't know too. what you're going for. I was looking for a song. It wasn't Hopefully working. Not it about wasn't about defecating. Uh, nah, it was... Um, I'm never going to forget that now. Yeah. God, you're gay! I'll make you defecate. fuck is this so if you like what you heard here today go on over to instagram and check us out at orc underscore you that's o-r-k underscore you we want to hear from you there head on over to facebook.com slash our reviews will kill you and join in the conversation and join the university there we want to hear from you there as well Head on over to YouTube at YouTube and search Our Reviews Will Kill You to find all of our content. And be sure to like, subscribe, comment. We want to hear from you there as well. Basically, what if you haven't noticed by now, we just want to hear from you. And of course, as always, Our Reviews Will Kill You from You is brought to you for free. Uh, wait, uh, uh, what was uh, what you, you just heard me. Show? You heard me. <laughs> you called it something. I don't know what that was. Our reviews will kill you. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Again. It's brought to you for free. Thanks to you, our friends again over at ScottWillKillYou.com. Yes, don't close it on the lights, you meat whistle. Yes, at ScottWillKillYou.com. We are filled with content and video and music. And of course, clickable buttons to send us messages and talk to us and let us know what you think and let us know what you want us to review. Give us that thumbs up. Again. Hit that little dingling button. We want to hear from you. So head on over to scoutwillkillyou.com or our reviews will kill you.com. We'll take it to the same place and check out all of our fun content there as well. Oh, uh, yeah. So from all of us here at Orkyu to all of y'all at home, we love y'all. Hey there, Orc Universe, Scott here, telling you to go ahead and click that subscribe video. Make sure you get all the Orc U videos as they're released. Click that like button, give us some love, and go down and comment. Tell us what you think, tell us what you loved, and of course, tell us that you hate Noob Noob. Hey, you may even get an extra surprise and a visit from somebody very special. Naked Scott. What are you doing here? Surprise, I can appear anywhere at any time. Isn't that illegal? Never you mind, Hollywood Scott. I'm here to remind our friends to go over to Scott Will Kill You Productions and go to Legion of Lunacy for more crazy videos and get more Orky Review videos by clicking on that link right over there. Why am I the one who's covered up? Shouldn't you be censored? You can't censor this, baby. I'm way too sexy. <laughs>